All right, hang on. There's, there's a magpie. I'm going to go swap this magpie out. What's up, GQ? I'm Josh Pyman from Tiny Pretty Things on Netflix, and these are my essentials. Okay, item number one is my journal. I've been journaling for about four years now. Um, I originally started just to kind of get my thoughts out onto the page because I tend to be a bit of an overthinker, like a lot. So um, someone suggested, why don't you just start writing in a journal? And so I did and I found it really cathartic. So I've been doing it ever since. And there's just something about you know, getting your thoughts out on the page that really helps a lot. And it, it doesn't always have to be, you know, bad thoughts or, you know, negative thoughts, but it can be good thoughts as well, happy thoughts. And you can also record happy times in here. So I try to journal every morning. I try to be as detailed as possible about, you know, whatever's going on in my life. Um, not only for my own, you know, myself, but also, it just serves as such a great memory book. I can just flick through to whatever time it was in my life and, you know, read back on it and smile. Number two is something to read. So I either use, you know, the hard copy of a book or um, a Kindle. It is a bit of a controversial topic because some people, they really go with the Kindle, some people really prefer the hard copy. I kind of just go with whatever is most convenient in the time. If I'm at home a lot, I'll generally pick up the hard copy because something just, there's something about just turning the page. Okay, next essential are my gemstone bracelets. So originally my mom got me my first gemstone bracelet when I was kind of going through a tough time and what she got me was an Amazonite bracelet. And basically Amazonite is the soothing stone. It's, it's for... <laughs> Anyways, um, Amazonite is the soothing bracelet. It's... Bruh, do you mind? I think we're good. So, where was I? <laughs> Amazonite is a soothing bracelet. It helps with Hang on, there's, there's a magpie. I'm gonna go swap this magpie out. So as I was saying, yeah, gemstone bracelets. <laughs> They're a great fashion accessory. Um, I love the sentimentality of them. You know, um, it gives you a reminder of kind of the healing properties of each one. And yeah. My next essential, my asthma inhalers. Why? I'd probably die without them. So I, mean, I guess that's a good, good reason to have them on this list. Um, yeah, I've had asthma since I was about two, two, somewhere around that range. And um, funny story, actually, when I moved to Canada a couple of years ago, Vancouver, my asthma went away. So. Shout out to Canada for you and your clean air up there. <laughs> okay. All right, my next essential are my baseball caps slash dad hats. Um, if you know me, you know that I'm always wearing a cap pretty much everywhere. Yeah, I have built up a, bit, a fairly nice collection of caps. I wear all of them pretty much all the time. Some of them are a bit more worn than others, but this one's my Kermit hat, my favorite. I wear this for times when I'm minding my own business. My next essential is green juice or green smoothies. It's a bit of a weird one, but ever since I started making green smoothies in the mornings, I've noticed like my overall health just improved dramatically, um, especially my gut health. Like I used to be somebody who would get up and then just make a coffee straight away and then have that as the first thing in my gut. Didn't really sit right. So I switched it up and now I make 
a green juice pretty much or green smoothie every every morning usually the recipe varies but my stock standard is like coconut water um, kale hemp seeds spirulina banana blueberries uh, and protein powder i love them ah, my next essential my passport i don't know why i put this on the list because I haven't used it in like a year, but when there isn't a pandemic on, I love to travel. I, I need it to, for my job. Yeah, I mean, there's something just so nice about getting to go to another country and exploring the world. I know we can't all do that right now and it sucks, but there will be a time where we can do that again. And for that reason, I put my passport in because I'm not giving up hope. Ooh, my next one is my memory foam contoured pillow. This is a lifesaver for me. I used to always get really bad neck problems and I couldn't figure out why. So I switched up the pillow game and honestly it changed everything for me. It's got a curve in it. I don't know if, a lot of people use these now so I feel like it's not very much a secret anymore but it, it's very good for your neck alignment, your back alignment and everything. And I'm super into all that stuff. So yeah, I fully cannot live without this pillow. Anytime I sleep without this pillow, I wake up with a bad neck. That is not, that's not good, is it? Mm. <sighs> my Prada sneakers. These are my babies. I love them. I wear them everywhere. Um, they were given to me by, by a very good friend of mine and I honestly wear them everywhere. As you can see, they're pretty, there's a few scuff marks, a few crease marks. I know the sneaker heads are going to kill me for that, but I just love to wear sneakers. Like I, I'm, I, I'm not really much of a sneaker head. Like I don't buy them and keep them on a shelf or anything like that. Um, I love these sneakers so much. They, they also give me like an extra inch in height, obviously. My final essential is my iPad Pro. Now I tried to stay away from techie stuff as much as possible in this video, but this one, I can't live without. I use it every day, especially for work. I bought, I bought this for work. I used to put them on a USB and then walk down to Staples and then print them out at Staples and then walk home. And I would do that every single time. So, I bit the bullet and I bought an iPad and honestly, it's been a lifesaver. I cannot live without it. I put all my scripts on here, everything. I organized my entire life on this thing. So it's absolutely essential for me. Okay, well, now you know my 10 essentials. Thanks GQ, thanks for having me. It's been a pleasure and thanks everybody for watching. So, peace out.